Real Life Street Stars. We're here with Rick Adon, man. What's good with you, baby? Cool, man. Man, glad to have you on the couch, man. You know what it is, man. What it is, man. Sure, uh, man. Out here, man. Just out here getting it, bro. There you go. There you, know you go, saying? man. For those that don't know, man, go and tell them what it is you do, man, and where is you from, man. First and foremost, you know, a lot of people might know me as, you know, Rico Gathers, the Dallas Cowboy football player. You Shout know, basketball Cowboy. player turned tight end. But, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm here to talk music, though, man. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a young mogul, man. I see myself as, you know, a young masterpiece. So, yeah, you know, speaking, I'm here to talk straight Speaking of P music. In, uh, in music, man. Hold on. Before we touch on that, man, you got the accent. Where you from? Where you from? I'm from New Orleans. New Orleans. I'm saying 504, you heard me, in the building. <laughs> and, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. For real? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We got yeah, we got some uh, street stars man. and hip members that uh. That's what I'm saying. For real, for real. <laughs> real talk, real talk. <laughs> man, uh, man, hey, hey, come, coming from Louisiana, man. Um, go ahead and tell them as far as how early you got in music, man. You said uh, you know, what I'm saying like 16, you jumped. Man, into, huh? honestly, I'm gonna tell y'all the story how it all happened, man. For me, man, uh, when I was about six or seven, my my brother he was playing football at Georgia Tech and stuff, and you know he was you know about to be a first rounder, you know. Yeah. Top draft pick in the draft. And, uh, you know, he used to mess with me, man. This when, like, Romeo, Bow Wow, and them was all doing their thing. I was like, man, you need to learn how to rap. So, yeah. you know, at the time, you know, I was just a shy kid. I ain't like to rap. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you know, I'll try, but yeah. But eventually, like, you know, like I said, my, my love for music grew, like, tremendously. And then uh, it went from, you know, me listening to a lot of music to, you know, starting to write my own music. And uh, by the time I was 16, 17 years old in high school, man. That's when I just stuck with it, man, and started writing. Ever been writing ever since. What's the uh, first CD? You, what's the first CD you bought? The first CD? Can you remember that far back? Uh, the first CD I ever bought was actually a WWF soundtrack, like with all the <laughs> with all the wrestling music. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hey, hey, yeah, that's some real shit. Attitude there. Hey, hey, Hell forcible man. entry. That's what it was called, man. And like, you know, they had some, you know, the 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 rap tracks on there, like you know, the remixes of all the songs and stuff, man. This is when they were trying to, you know, cross over into the WWE stuff, and, you know, trying to bring more excitement and stuff, man. But uh, man, the first like legit album that I ever bought bought was uh, Outkast, uh, Speaker Box Love Below. Oh yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Good, yeah, good, yeah, good story. Yeah, I mean, real music. You know, and like, man, I was a big from that point on. I was a big like outcast. I mean, outcast. You know, Andre three thousand fan and stuff. You know, what I'm saying. Uh, I used to keep that love below album bumping real, real hard all the time. <laughs> man, do you remember your first eight bars from the first rap you wrote? Yes, I do. Man, get man. bless us with those. Bless us with it. Man, One, two, okay, two. so so basically, bro, like you know, me and my homies, man, uh, my teammates actually, you know, like I said, I played basketball, man. Um, you know, growing up and stuff, but me and my teammates, man, we uh, we was like, you know, just sitting at my house one time. You know, I used to call my house the Dooley Mansion and stuff. So, yeah. uh, you know, we just started freestyling on the track one time. So, yeah. my first eight bars, my first song, like I ever wrote or you know sat down and actually put on paper was it go a little something like this. <clears throat> so, uh, let me think. Okay. Welcome to the Dooley Mansion, living like movie stars. Thank we riding big. Now nah, wait till I get my fucking car. Tired of playing games with these dumb ass stupid hoes. Not ready for a job like this, bitch. That the gang shows. And that's how, you know what I'm saying? That's just a little snippet, you know. Man, I still that, remember that's the that. Bar. <laughs> I still Are remember you going that. <laughs> you kind of how old you when you wrote this, bro? You know? <laughs> Hey, shout out, shout out, shout out, man, to the little homie, man, John, bro. Like, me and him, hey, we set up, we had just came back from a little party and just started writing that out the blue. Like, did y'all ever have any battles, like freestyle battles or uh, rap battles, you know what I'm saying? Back I mean, in school, like not until I really got to like college and stuff, you know, like I used to go chill with some of the football players and stuff. And I mean, we used to, you know, do our thing and then we used to, you know, freestyle it out and stuff. But after a while, like, you know, I used to just start freestyling on my own. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, anytime I get in the car, I'm like, man, I don't care what beat come on. I'm about to freestyle. I got to practice. Yeah, tell us about that as far as um, normally when kids go to college, you know what I'm saying? That's where they really get into music, man, as far as going to parties and seeing what artists is popping, man. Who was popping at the time you were in college, and how was your music personally as far as the way you was messing with it when you was in college? Man, uh, shoot, man, my freshman year when I got to college, man, I was really listening to a lot of currency, 
yeah. Wiz Khalifa, oh, yeah. Dom Kennedy, um, Nipsey, yeah. you know, uh, shoot, uh, your boys from out here, Young Nation, you oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? Turn up, turn up. Turn hey, up. used to be on Young Nation and turn stuff, up, man. Bro. You know, that's when, that's when I started, like, really dancing to music <laughs> and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, get your moving. Yeah, you know, get, 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 get the beat, you know, used to beef it up and stuff, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, started, that wall. Started, learning, that wall. Hey, started learning about, you know, the da- South Dallas swing, you know yeah. what I'm saying? All that yeah. right there, so. On the dial, man. You know, man, I mean, that's when, you know, I started, like, really, like, opening up and really, you know, getting it, coming into my own element. Uh, with the music stuff, man, like, you know, just listening to music, studying music, and uh, just going from there. Was it those scenarios where, uh, you know, cats, you know, everybody in the party, they start freestyling, where you kind of got to jump in there and try to, you know, show what you got? Mm, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, like, when I was at Baylor and stuff, man, we used to have karaoke night, and oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I used to actually go on the stage when it's packed and stuff and just used to used to do my own my own lyrics to the to the beat you know i remember man we was uh rapping to that to that um must have forgot about dre you know oh, yeah. eminem you know what oh, i'm saying yeah. and I, you know what i'm saying Has i got on be. there and I, I rocked the party man real quick like real you know but like i said i was on my level and stuff at the time you know real talk real talk man uh to even have a background as far as you know, coming up in sports and uh, also having a love for music. Um, do you have a more of a passion for one or the other, or do you feel like, you know, I'm going I'm to uh, focus on this or that? Honestly, man, I love making music, man. Like, I admire what artists do. You know what I'm saying? Like, your Gucci Mans, your Migos. Like, you yeah. know, I love the what the type of uh, work that they put into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, from the videography uh to to everything man the lifestyle that you know they portray and stuff like that i love that you know what i'm saying i think it's uh you know i think it's amazing you know so honestly like you know i really if i had to if, if i had to choose between the two if i was making the same amount of money in the two i'll choose music you know what i'm saying because because uh music man is i mean it's just so powerful bro like you know you go to all these concerts and stuff and you see all these people coming out for one person you know what I'm saying? That's that's crazy, man. Just, you know, I'm in the clubs and stuff, and I'm just, you know, I'm listening to the interaction of the fans, you know, uh, the people that's there, and, like, just how music, like, impacts people and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, start getting them moving and stuff like that, man, like, to whatever, whatever beat or what's being said, man, that's, that's powerful to me, you know? Man, that's, that's, that's deep, man. Um, we listen to some of your music. You know what I'm saying? Before we even got in the couch, and uh, oh, yeah. you got you know you got some songs that's like more reality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, not, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. not the the bubble gum type music. Um, what would you say you get? Your, what would you say is your style of music? Uh, and then what would you say influenced you? I mean, I I really don't have a style, man. I don't have like a lane that I just stick in. Like I'm not just a trap artist. I'm not just a straight to the streets artist. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just a let me speak about this real, like, you know, it's, it, it all depends on, like, the beat to me, you know, I feed yeah. off the beat on anything that I talk about, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, I might be as real as they come, and then sometimes I might just want to, you know, turn up real quick, you know what I'm saying, on the beat, just, you know what I'm saying, it, it, it really don't matter to me, like, what I talk about, as long as it's, you know, a good message to people and stuff, and, uh, I mean, it's me, you know, anything that I write about is going to be me, you know, you I've talk. lived it, or you know I've, I'm uh, you know reminiscing about it, or you know I'm striving to to get to a point, you know what I'm saying, where it's already got, you know what I'm saying, I already have it. So real talk, yeah. real talk. So two questions are: What's the studio session? What you like? And also, uh, <laughs> kind of when you jump into music, do you start with the hook first, or do you start with the bars first? I start with the bars first. Uh, <laughs> honestly, um, you know the hook is really the easiest part to come up with. You know. Um, so for me, really and truly, I just try to, you know, go ahead and get the bars on paper. You know what I'm saying? And once the bars laid down, it's easier to come up with a hook because, you know, you already got the concept of the song. So, you know, you want to try to stick to that concept, you know what I'm saying, through with the hook and stuff like that. So Um, have you ever reached out to any of your music, um, I would guess say um heroes or anybody that you looked up to to help you work oh. on some of your music projects? Um, none like to work on music, but man, this past uh, off season, um, you know, I had said to myself, like, man, it was funny because like I was just talking far fetched, but I was like, man, I want to meet Master P, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, I was like, man, I always looked up to Master P. Like I said, you know, I look at myself as a young Master P. 
uh, just, you know, my mindset and how I think, you know, it's more than just trying to be an athlete. It's more than just trying to be a music artist. You know, I see myself wanting to do a lot of stuff in the business side. So, you know, it was funny, man. I, I, I just looked up some things and uh, I knew I was going home for All-Star Weekend and stuff. And, uh, you know, it was funny because that Thursday, Master P was gonna be there and stuff. And you know, I'm just sitting to myself, I'm like, oh man, like, you know what I'm saying? Master P gonna be there, woo de woo, yada yada. So, you know, it's funny because my old lady, she was like, oh, you buying this section and you ain't even gonna get that close to Master P, woo de woo, <laughs> like hating and stuff. And I'm just like, man, that's, that's messed up. Like, you know, like, cause she know, how, she know how much, you know, I grew up loving Master P and stuff. So basically, sure, man, like we ended up going and uh, she ended up, <laughs> she ended up like not being able to get in because she didn't have her ID. So she ended up going back to the telly. And me and my uh, my cameraman, we ended up going to, you know, the spot. And shoot, man, Master P walked in, man. He looked at me. I looked at him. We dapped each other off and boom. Like, it was just like magic after that. He told me come to this section and everything. You know what I'm saying? Just just off the rip. You know, so I went up in there, turned up with them. The whole, like, no limit, you know what I'm saying? Him, uh, you know, Silk the Shock. I mean, you know, C. Murdy up in jail and stuff. But... Other than that, you know the whole No Limit crew. Well, um, me and myself, I'm a Master P fan also, man. And, yeah. You know, I heard you say that you're from New Orleans. And I wanted to ask, could you give us a picture on how was it growing up in New Orleans? Because I know it's a rough place and how Louisiana is like one of the poorest states oh, in yeah. America that makes a lot of money and the education system is low. What gave you that push and that drive to stay in school and become who you is now? Uh, for me, man, like I said, you know, born in New Orleans, I was raised, I was actually raised in uh, Laplace, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, for me, uh, and I mean, that was, you know, strategic and how it was, like, you know, my brothers and stuff, they used to get in a lot of trouble, you know what I'm saying? So we ended up moving to Laplace and, uh, you know, man, we, my, my shit basically sold out there, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. But I mean, shoot, it's all the same. Like she, everybody, you know, got some type of people in Laplace and stuff from New Orleans. But man, I mean, for the most part, for me, man, um, man, I, shoot, I was, I was mainly like cool with everybody though, you know what I'm saying? So I, I mean, I really didn't embark on like too much trouble growing up, you know what I'm saying? Even though it, it was around me, you know what I'm saying? At all times, like, you know, I could have easily detoured off into, you know, some, some dark places, but you know, for me, I just stuck to the game of basketball and sports in general. And uh, that's what really like helped propel me. You know what I'm saying? I think really and truly me having like older brothers, you know, guide me yeah. in uh, the process of, you know, getting to that point, you know, going through the recruiting process, uh, having actually, you know, expectation. I think that, that, that really helped, man. Other than, you know, you know, me trying to figure it out on my own and, you know, trying to, you know, do what my friends was doing, you know what I'm saying? I had to cut some people off along the way. Not necessarily cut off, but, you know, distance myself because, you know, I had to stay focused on what I was trying to do. So, yeah. Man, if you could do a feature with anybody, you know, you probably can. I don't know. Who but, knows? Uh, who, would you, who, would you throw, who would you throw on the track? Man, honestly, at this point, anybody. But, man, like, you know, I'm a real big fan of Moneybag right now, man. Moneybag, hey, yo, bro. He, he, he remind me of myself. Like, he just keep it 100, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he spits what's on his mind at all times. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the stuff that he be saying, you know, a lot of dudes, shoot, wish they could say, but, you know, they just don't know how the world gonna take it. But shoot, man, he just spit what's on his mind, man, at all times. And I really got a lot of respect for him. Yeah, Pam, you doing too much. Yeah. <laughs> you know, hey, that was the first song I listened to right there. And it was like, oh, man, let me see what it says, bro, because he go hard. Yeah. <laughs> you know, hitting him with that, oh, 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 real quick, you know what I'm saying? Hitting him with that, oh, oh, oh. You feel me? I was like, no, man, this dude doing too much for real, boy. Yeah, but hey, man, so he go well, hard, though, man, for real. It was just out here, you know? man, the uh, other day, too. Yeah, I know. I saw that, man. He did something with uh, Mo3. Like I said, man, he did something with uh, my boy Keystar, you know what I'm saying, down there in Waco. Up, well, matter of fact, up in Austin and stuff. So, But, uh, shoot, man, that whole Memphis clique, man, right now, man, they going hard. You know, him, Black Youngster, got yeah. it. Like, you know, they got something going up there. I like that. Yeah, Memphis is well known for uh, their music as well as Louisiana. Right, yeah, you know. So. Like I said, I mean, I've been a big fan of the Memphis, the Memphis scene, you know, with 3-6 Mafia. Shoot, Project Pat, man, A Ball and MJG, South Circle, all them, man. Like, I like the way they, you know, they sound. You know, uh, it's different, you know what I'm saying? But it's yeah. straight to the point. Like, they don't bullshit with yeah, anything that they talking about. 
Straight up. Since we're on a uh, topic of uh, artists, uh, I want to know your take on uh, the little incident with Boosie. With uh, in uh, the mall in uh, Mississippi. Oh, okay. Oh, man. I don't know. Like, I, I literally just heard about it today. Yeah, he got uh, base. They, some of his, say they uh, took his jury and stuff. Yeah, a million dollars. The whole click? The whole trip? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, tell them. Tell them. Oh. Yeah. Tell them if they don't know. Tell them if they don't know. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, they were in a mall or something and they were told to leave and they were leaving and the police maced them and then. Oh, so the police them, maced them? Cornered them and then maced them again. A white officer. Wow. Uh, I mean, man, really, really and truly, man, I mean, that's just sad, bro. Like, you know, it's sad that like, you know, for people like, you know, boost and stuff like they got to go through stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Just in the sense of, uh, just in the sense of, uh, you know, like, man, I mean, shoot, he always in, I guess he was up in at that Black Beach stuff, you know what I'm saying? For the little, yeah, I believe so. for the little concert and stuff. Yeah, man, like he always got to go through stuff like that, man. You know, people just hating on people, you know, but uh, for the most part, I just really think, man, like, you know, we got to do better better than that in society, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, what you made some people for, like, you know what I'm saying? Is you hating because, you know, you got more money than you or, you know, you flexing on you, like, you know, like, it ain't it ain't never, that, I just feel like, you know, stuff like that, it ain't never that serious. Like, you know, if nobody ain't pulling out, you know, no guns or, you know, physically threatening you, like, why? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, for, especially for me, like, you know, stuff like that just, really irks my nerves, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, shoot, I lost I lost a homeboy, you know what I'm saying, on some hate crime, stuff like that, you know, uh, my boy uh, Joe McKnight, you know what I'm saying? Like, we grew up, you know what I'm saying, based in the same area, you know, he was a, he was a NFL football player and stuff like that, and you know, dude basically, you know, some, just because he cut him off and stuff, he basically, you know, felt the urge to, you know what I'm saying, won't follow the man, the man just, you know, trying to get to where he gotta be, and shoot, you know, you pulling, you know, I mean, I understand, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, you know, it wasn't right for him to, you know, get out the car and nothing, but still and all, man. Like, you know, if you're a man, I'm a man, we talking. I don't think, you know, dudes should be pulling out guns on you, you know what I'm saying? But that's the type of, that's the type of situation you got to deal with, especially coming from the South, man. Yeah, most definitely. Now, moving back a little bit to your music career, um, being that you are already an athlete, do you feel like, do you feel like you have some type of advantage as far as getting on as a rapper. Uh, honestly, man, I don't even I don't even cross my uh, my music stuff with my at, my athlete page and stuff. Like I don't I don't market myself uh, on my my uh, athlete Instagram and stuff. I market myself strictly as a uh, artist, you know, trying to come up. You know what I'm saying? Because I just feel like you know if I'm a, if I'm gonna get out there, you know, I'm gonna do it the grimy way, you know, yeah. how everybody else trying yeah. to do it. You know, I ain't even going to use my star status or nothing to get up like that. You know what I'm saying? I won't be able to say, shoot, I came up in both lanes. You know what I'm saying? Equally. I mean, damn it. When you walk into a room as a, as a, as a musician, you know, you have a physical presence, man. Is that like, do you feel like beef <laughs> in the music industry would ever be an issue? You know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, with some of these cats, so you feel like, I mean, it really all depends, you know, like, like I said, I, I, I don't think, I don't think so, but you never know, man. You never know because, you know, media going to always blow stuff out of proportion. Like, you know, if somebody say something, oh, well, you know, such and such said this and woo the woo but I'm not really looking for no beef, man. I ain't trying to be on no Meek Mill and Drake type stuff, man. Or, you know, how game them be. But if, but if somebody got, if, if Soulja Boy got on, Rico say he wants some beef with me, you going to respond? Yeah. Honestly, like. <laughs> he got the chop out. Rico said he wants some people. I mean, he can have a chop out, but <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, you know, with me, man, I, I'm too cool for all that, to be honest with you. Like, you know, okay. beef, like, beef don't phase me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially, like, if you a dude who Instagram flexing, you know what I'm saying? Like, come talk to me face to face. You know, I'm 6'8. You know, you 5'3, I'm 6'8. Come talk to me and really feel like, uh, feel okay. my presence. You know what I'm saying? If we talking beef, you know, okay. but. Well, we just talking rap. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Rap beef. But you know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna be a, we, we ain't gonna be we not gonna be on no no Chris Brown soldier boy. Oh yeah, man, we gonna we gonna fight. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get in the ring. Like, nah, we ain't doing that, man. Like, you know, the fact that you talking social media, like, that lets me know you're you're a media whore. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just not gonna entertain that, like, you know what I'm saying? 
Like you just gotta see me when you see me if you wanna talk to me. Okay, so aside from all the plexing, who do you look into to inspire good energy? Somebody that you look up to? Uh, Anybody that you can always count on to be optimistic. Get optimistic uh, about stuff? Yeah. Uh, Honestly, like, a Master P. You know, I, I, really, I really go back to my roots, you know what I'm saying? Man. To look for, I really go, like, back. Like, I'm talking about, you know, I'll go listen to a, pro, a Project Pat album. Yeah. Or, you know, I'll go listen to Easy. e you know, I'll go listen to, you know, Master P, like, you know what I'm saying? That ice cream man and Babe, shoot. Did you, did, you, did you hear the new, uh, the new Mr. Ice Cream Man? Where he was yeah, Ice Cream yeah, Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, he was, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't you know, it. like, I'm yeah. telling you, man, like, literally, like, I, I listen to Master P stuff that he drops today. You know, like, I'm just not like, oh, well, you know, I know the old, like, I'll be on this stuff that he drops today. And, you know, I'll just be listening to it, you know, he getting kind of old. But did you ever cop the sneakers, though? The sneakers. Did you ever cop the masterpiece sneakers? No. The females. Like you might as well go cop some shacks if you're gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well cop the shacks. What, what'd you feel about Masterpiece's uh, uh, basketball game, man? You know he got the chance to play that one NBA game and whatnot, that, man. What you talk about like when he was with Toronto? Yeah. Or yeah. Uh, Charlotte? Yeah, whatever whoever you with. Uh, man, dude told me a story. <laughs> Dude sure. told me a story about him, uh, shoot, when uh, Anthony Mason was with uh, the Hunters and stuff. Dude told me, he was like, yeah, man, Pete, man, he was trying to, you know, he was trying to bang with uh, Anthony Mason and stuff like that. Because, you know, Anthony Mason thought, like, oh, well, you know, this dude ain't coming. He ain't coming in there, you know yeah. what I'm saying, doing nothing. Yeah. But, you know, at the end of the day, like, you know, Anthony Mason had to give him that respect, like, you know. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got some, you got some. That nigga played in the NBA. That's what I'm that trying to tell y'all, man. WF. <laughs> That nigga was the rap he, phenomenon. He what basically gone. He had some phones. He did movies. I mean, who, who can you top? Who can who top this? That's shit? what I'm saying, and that's what I'm saying. Like you know, I, people like him, I admire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he just he not in one box, and I never looked at myself to be in one box. I'm always out of the ordinary. Like I want to do extra. You know, even with like the whole season last year, you know, Dallas, they had me on their practice squad and stuff. But shoot, I looked at that time when they were going away games, I was in the studio just getting, you know what I'm saying, getting my songs right and stuff like that, you know. But like I said, I'm always plotting on something to come up. Like I look at myself like the the natural hustler, <laughs> you know. And uh, with that being said, as far as, um, you know, let's say 10 years from now, you know what I'm saying, as far as your brand and your business, where would you like to see it? Uh, you know, your brand and your business escalate to? Uh, doing it all, man. Like I said, I see myself, you know, getting a lot of money from football. I see myself yeah. doing a lot of stuff to get money in in uh, the music game. But not only that, like I see myself doing a lot of stuff away from all of that. Like, you know, I see myself, um, you know, getting into real estate, you know, yeah. uh, opening up some, you know, pharmacies or, you know, some urgent cares because I know that's going to bring in Guaranteed money, you know what I'm saying, with the state or the, you know what I'm saying, that government money and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm always trying to, you know, flex, man. Like, my uh, my empire is actually called Top Rank, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. Top Rank everything. Top Rank entertainment, Top Rank sports, Top Rank uh, pharmaceuticals soon, you know, like Top Rank like urgent cares, Top Rank realtors, everything Top Rank, you know. So, like I said, I just want to be Top Rank everything, you know what I'm saying? Everything that I do is going to be the top, top of the top line. Of the top. And as far as the music, man, uh, go ahead and tell them as far as, I mean, are you putting out any projects or what's 2017 looking like for you? Man, I'm actually working on a pro project right now, man. Uh, it's called uh, Mind, of, Mind of a Don, you know what I'm saying? And uh, basically, you know, it's just going in depth about who Rick Don is, you know. And then after that, you know, I'm going to start working on an album called Rick Avelli the Don. And Rick Avelli the Don is actually... Uh, show him the hat, show him the hat. Rick Avelli, you know what I'm saying? Rick Avelli the Don, that's basically no, like- No, just Tupac in, uh, where was he at? You seen that? <laughs> that's basically like, <laughs> that's basically like the grandfather album, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, got on some Godfather type stuff, like, just, you know, introducing, like, me coming into my own, into the rap game, man. Like, just, like I said, you know, I'm trying to be like, you know, how Future is, you know? Drop a drop a uh, hip hop album, you know, a rap album, then turn around, drop a R and B type album, but it still go hard, you know what I'm saying? So who who are some of the people that you working with? I heard a Mike Will beat over there, you know what oh, I'm saying? You heard that? I thought I heard a Mike Will. Which one? I'm tripping. Oh yeah, you did. You did. You did. You did. Yeah, yeah. That's uh man, that's Bag of Puss, man. That okay. that song called Bag of Puss. Bag of Puss is basically yeah. a chick 
who, you know, got some good knowing, some good pussy. <laughs> Got some good pussy, but you know the pussy actually motivates you to get the money. You know what I'm saying? So bag we call that pussy. Hey, we call that bag of puss. You know, and I bag mean that that puss. song. That song is you know really really inspired, man. Like you know, like I said, it's basically like them chicks. Uh, basically for them chicks in the strip club, man. Like you know what I'm saying? You go in there, you throwing them all your money, but shoot, you gotta go to work the next week and get some more so you can come right back in that bit. We call that bag of puss. Hey, uh, let, let us know if there's a remix, man. <laughs> huh? The remix? <laughs> you Shout know. out to those getting it by the bag. The bag, you heard me? Bag of puss, man. If you Fall could have a bag of there. if you could have a bag of puss, name uh, put five of your top in there. Five of the top. Five of the top. <laughs> five of the top. Hit list. Yeah. But you gotta understand, this chick gotta motivate you to get the bag. Ah, uh, yeah. It can't just be like, oh yeah, this is my bad, this is my, this is my ten erroneous. Oprah, Oprah, Oprah. Hey, you know, like they, they hustle basically matching your hustle. They not just sitting on their ass like, oh yeah, you know, this is my sugar daddy. He getting all the money and woo woo woo. Like we getting it together, baby. We about to build an empire. You know what I'm saying? We call that bag of pussy. Cookie, yeah, you know, cookie, cookie, Martha Stewart. Shoot, Martha Stewart, yeah, Oprah. Oprah. Yeah, yeah, Oprah, yeah, 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 yeah. Real talk, real talk, man. Uh, Hold on, I gotta say one more. No disrespect to Obama. <laughs> Michelle <laughs> Obama. <laughs> oh, Michelle Obama. She, she motivated him. She motivated, motivated you to get bro. that bag, though. <laughs> motivated a black <laughs> man to that, become bro. president. Hey. That is number one rank right there, bro. See, you got it, baby. You got it, yeah, for real. That's real tough, man. So, hey, what's your social media game like, man? Are you on social media a lot? Or you yeah, man, I be on there, man. Most of the time, just posting pictures and stuff. You know, posting certain links to my music right now. Yeah, but so yeah, you putting your music, you putting your music out there right now? Yeah, or? yeah, uh, sure, man. Like I said, I got a few songs out right now. Uh, Word around town. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This we, me and my boy Deontay G, actually my cousin. You know what I'm saying? We uh, yeah. we got some stuff. Vibing out with that, you know, that's on that uh, that Gucci Man beat, Zaytoven and stuff like that. And then, like Good I talk. said, uh, shoot, I got that that loss, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Girl, you know you lost because you ain't fucking with a boss. If you ain't, ain't fucking with Rick or Dunn, you know you fucking know. That hoe right you there. Yeah, hey, so, hey, 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 you know. Hey, that right there might be hey, the secret. Hey, when you, you know shoot it, make sure you invite us. We want to be, I just want to hey, slow motion. Slow motion, we want a yacht on Joe Pool Lake. Exactly. We're going to put a yacht on uh, Lake Ray Hubbard. Let's go. And yeah, man, we're going to turn that bitch off. That's what I'm trying to say, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, like, that's that's the real, you know, the two. Well, I actually got about, like, four I'm pushing right now. Like, just pushing, you know, going to the strip clubs, letting them, you know, feel the vibes like and stuff, that, see like the vibes that. in there. How easy is it for you to just make somebody dance to your music, bro? I know you just walk in, you're six, eight. You know what I'm saying? Here you go, baby. What you mean? <laughs> I mean, I know I got to be a little easier. <laughs> hey, bitch, you going to dance to this? <laughs> Pick you up. Bitch, you Pick going to go dance to this? <laughs> Nah, Grab man. Shoulders and shake hey. Nah, man. Honestly, bro, like, you know, like I said, man, I don't even use none of that to my advantage, man. Like, I really just come in here, like. Even if you wasn't no athlete, bro, you still 6'8, bro. You well, I mean, kid, still in all, man. I just be like, look, you know, a lot of dudes, if you're not an athlete, they might assume, like, oh, this dude, he's just a corny ass nigga, man. He's 6'8. Like, why this, why this nigga ain't, you know, doing no real nigga shit? So. <laughs> You know, like he must not be good so, at basketball. You know, so you know, like you know, I kind of, I, I kind of had. Hey man, look man, I play for the Cowboys, man. Like you know, play this shit real quick. You know, sometimes. Slide but, it in, man. Hey, you know, still in all, man. Like you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to go through the this, this scheme of you know trying to get it out there, man. Like I know, you know, a lot of artists, man. Like you know, they go through the same phases. So I'm just trying to, you know, see what they go through and you know, just see how it goes from there. Like man, it's, it's exciting, man. Like every time. You know, I go to these clubs and, you know, I'm just looking at the people, like, really vibing to my shit. And I'm like, oh, man, that's nice. You know, I got to do this shit more often, you know? You ever been and, I mean, most of the time I get good feedback from the yeah. DJs, too. You ever been scrolling down your Instagram and seen a girl just shaking her ass to your song? Miss Twerkson. Wow. You said Miss Twerkson. Miss Twerkson. Oh, oh man. man that's, that's what's that's, up, man. Yeah. One of the biggest ones. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, I, you know, I had the... I had to hook that one up, man. I had to hook that one up, man. Uh, you know, I know she be doing like her promos and stuff. So, you know, you know what I'm saying? I threw, threw a little something, something. And, you know, she made that happen for me. Yeah, you know, I mean, and, and this actually was a 
with a thing of like, oh man, like this is the same chick. You know, I used to watch when I was like 13, yeah. 14, she was a little girl, you know. Shit. You know, like like you know, like hey. <laughs> but you know, like, you know, being being able to reach out and like, you know, she going, you know, she hit me back and like, yeah, hey, you know, we gonna do it. And she took care of it for me, man. Like that was big, man. That's like for real, for real. That's love, you know, man. like I said, man, I do I'm trying to, you know, do a lot of songs for the females, man, just giving them stuff to dance to, man. Cause I mean, that's what you really want when you go to these clubs anyway. You just won't see some ass shaking sometimes and you know just you know some chicks catching some good vibes bro for real you she know you got bag of puss nigga. hey hey that's what i'm saying hey she ain't even heard that one yeah you know she might want you know <laughs> but yeah man hey yeah bro them bag of pusses out there man that'll work man. i like that work. that keep me motivated <laughs> Man, that'll work, that'll work, man. Ricky, man, go ahead and tell them uh, as far as how to get at, get at you on social media and whatnot, man. Man, shoot, man, y'all can get at me at, uh, shoot, Rickadon Dada, R-I-C-K-A-N, no, 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 my fault, R-I-C-K-A-D-O-N-D-A-D-A, -A -D -A -D -A, uh, on Instagram and on Twitter, so, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna give y'all my dad's cowboy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for all that. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. You know, just yeah. just watch some. Just watch ESPN yeah. and you know all the big big name yeah. stuff. And NFL Network. You know what I'm saying? You good? <laughs> but nah, we on we on the come up, man. We trying to get this music game out here for real, for real. Oh yeah, and uh, fuck that uh dude that talked down on Dallas Cowboys. What's the motherfucker? Stephen A. Fuck Steven. <laughs> Fuck you watching this shit, Steven Lane. Fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, bro, you be hating for real, for real, bro. And just real quick, can we find you on iTunes or anything like that? Yeah, man, I got I got one of my songs on there right now. Uh, shoot, man, just type in Rick Adon and uh, it'll, it'll come up, man. You know, Word Around Town, man, is actually with me and my cousin, bro. It's a track, man. You put it in any club. It's going to jam, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be saying, word around town, word around town, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be saying that for real, for real. You know, it's real catchy. Um, now, what about SoundCloud or anything like that? SoundCloud. Name all across yeah. the board? Or? Rick, Rick Adon Dada, you know what I'm saying? That's my, uh, that's most of my social medias and stuff, all the same. Man, you got any shout outs you want to give? Man, shout out to my boy Briefcase Santana for uh, yeah, cooking this case, up real man. quick, my you know. Daughter, Kip, my homie. That's 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 fam, and you know I really I really appreciate him hooking this up, man. Shout yeah. out to my boy uh, Deontay G uh, at Boss Vision Zone on uh, on what, Instagram and stuff like that. And you know, shout out to my fam back home, man. My No fan, five zero four shit nine eight five. You know what I'm saying? That's how I get down for real, for real. And I mean, I shout out to my Dallas community, bro, for real, man. I, I, I fucked with Dallas, though, the long way. Like, I remember when I was like 16, 17, I was like, man, I want, when, I, when I get my dream house, it's going to be in Dallas. Like, that's yeah, where I'm going to be stationed at. It showed up like, nigga, that came all the way up. You feel me? So I can't even complain. Dig that, man. You know? Goddamn. God I'm glad you ain't no motherfucking New Orleans Saints. No, no shade. No hey man, shade. chill out, chill out, though. You know what I'm saying? We got that Florida Lee at it right there, you know. We gonna show the love. You feel me? Don't hey, hey, don't get it twisted, you feel me? Like, that's always on, but you know what I'm saying? Tell me about that Patterson High School. Huh? Patterson High School. Pat oh yeah, yeah, Patterson. Patterson High School. Uh, they go hard. High Shout out to Patterson that's, High School. That's throwback though. That's like throwback. Like they, 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 ain't, they, ain't, they ain't even been, they ain't been on that yet. They ain't been on since. But still. Shout out to Dax. You know he from the boot too. Yeah, Shreveport, Halton, yeah. and shit. <laughs> like yeah, man. he up there. Real talk, real talk, man. Rick and Don, man. We definitely appreciate you coming through, man, and holding us down, man. You know what I'm saying? You definitely is a real life street star, man. Oh yeah, man. Salute, like I man. said, I'm just out here, man, trying to get it, man, by any means necessary, bro. Yeah, you know, man. like I said, football is cool. You know what I'm saying? I can't do that forever, though. This yeah. music shit, I can do this shit forever. I can be talking my shit like Birdman. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna put some respect hey. on my name. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> All three of y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, man, I done said it already. I ain't saying it no more, man. Man, <laughs> you already know what it is, man. Rick and Don, man, we you in know? this thing, man. And I mean, that's, a, that's, that's the type of people I look up to, man. Like, you know, coming from the same area and stuff, man. Like Birdman, you know, even if they be trying to clown my dude, bruh. He one of them. He one of them dudes, man. Like you just gotta put some respect on his name, bro. Like you done did some real nigga shit. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't even get into that, you know, Birdman, Lil Wayne stuff, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, I just, you know, I respect a dude who bought his paper, you feel me? So, a nigga bought his paper, Lil Wayne paper, he bought, he bought BG's paper. Cash, the whole cash money, Hot Boys, Juvie. For real. Let's go on he, the door, Bow Wow, what you at, Mystical? <laughs> Bust the rhymes, I mean, I'm about to you know, everybody. <laughs> real talk, real talk, man. Hey, real life street stars, man. We salute, man. Oh yeah, appreciate y'all for sure, for sure. Shout out real life street stars, nigga. Move. Hey.